Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for global Indians. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat in English, Punjabi and Gujarati languages. And our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Rahul Parmar and today's headlines are In India, the diplomatic row between India and Pakistan will be resolved mutually and the Congress has accused the Modi government of controlling the judiciary. In Punjab, 38 examination centers have allegedly abated mass copying and four government officials have been suspended. In Canada, India has slammed PM Justin Trudeau's conspiracy theory and turban-wearing Sikhs in Alberta can now ride motorcycles without a helmet. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. Get the mortgage that's best for you from Abdul Kazar, principal broker of Ingenious Mortgages. We offer first and second mortgages and refinancing. We deal with multiple lenders. We also conduct the REMIC course and exam to become a mortgage agent in just one week at our location. Call us at 416-887-9196 or log on to www.ingeniousmortgages.ca. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are India and Pakistan have mutually agreed to resolve matters related to the treatment of diplomats and diplomatic premises. Earlier this month, there were counter allegations by both the countries over the issue which took ties to a new law. The Congress has accused the Modi government of playing an extremely dangerous game of treading upon judicial independence. Few days back, Karnataka High Court Chief Justice Dinesh Maheshwari had ordered a probe against District and Session Judge Krishna Bhatt on the request of the Law Ministry, despite Judge Bhatt being recommended by the Supreme Court Collegium. BJP President Amit Shah has slammed the Congress for mocking him for a recent slip of tongue where he accused his own party CM candidate in Karnataka for running the most corrupt government. He warned the Congress that even though he had made the mistake, the people of Karnataka would not err while voting. Minister of State for External Affairs V.K. Singh will visit Iraq on April 1st to bring back bodies of the 39 Indians killed by the Islamic militants in Mosul. Singh will fly the bodies back in a special aircraft of the Indian Air Force. Senior Congress leader Ashok Gelot has been appointed General Secretary in charge of organization and training at the AICC. The redesignation of 67-year-old Gelot, who is already a general secretary, is a signal that the party may prefer 41-year-old Sachin Pilot as a probable chief ministerial candidate in Rajasthan this year end. Senior hardline separatist leader Syed Ali Gilani has offered Congregational Friday prayers after eight years. Apprehending law and order problem, Gilani and few others were under house arrest to ensure that they do not join anti-government protests. Authorities have now lifted such restrictions on the octogenarian separatist leader. Government employees in Madhya Pradesh will now retire at the age of 62 years instead of 60 years. This has been done to ensure that the general category government employees get a chance of promotion, which could not take place due to reservation. Prisoners cannot be kept in jail like animals, a shocked Supreme Court has said. The Apex Court was informed that many of the over 1,300 prisons across the country were overcrowded, even to the extent of more than 600%. It has called for an action plan to deal with the issue. A family of three and another man from Kerala's Kasar Gold, who had joined terror group IS in Afghanistan, are reported to have been killed in a bomb attack. With this, the total number of Keralites killed after joining IS in Afghanistan has gone up to eight. The controversial state funeral accorded to veteran Bollywood actress Sri Devi last month was under the instructions of Maharashtra CM Devendra Fadnavis. Sri Devi died in her Dubai hotel room due to accidental drowning on February 24th. Her state funeral had led to massive debates on social media. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as news from Punjab and Canada follows. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JP Mellon Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. 
we at JPMN Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are Around 38 examination centers in Taran Taran have been named for abetting mass copying during the annual Punjab School Education Department examination. This includes 34 private institutions and four government schools. An inquiry has been ordered in the matter. Local Bodies Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu has suspended four government officials over graft allegations in Barnala housing project. The inquiry found several irregularities causing financial losses to the state exchequer. The Punjab police have arrested two Kenya women and a man from Hoshiarpur after 300 grams of heroin was seized from them. The trio has been booked under the NDPS Act. SAD President Sukhbir Singh Badal has offered to quit politics if Finance Minister Manpreet Singh Badal could prove his allegations. Manpreet had alleged that the SGPC had organized bhog at the last rites of Sukhbir's mother. The SAD has warned citizens to be prepared for several new taxes. The attack was targeted at the Congress government, who recently imposed two new taxes in the name of social welfare surcharges and professional tax. The PPCC may constitute a political affair committee. The decision was taken during a meeting headed by CM Amrinder Singh. According to sources, MLAs believe that the committee would give the necessary decision-making inputs. The SGPC is all set to present its annual budget for year 2018-19. Healthcare, education and GST are likely to be the topic of discussion. This year's budget will witness at least a 10% increase than last year's Rs. 1,106 crores. The FCI, along with five state government agencies, are prepared to procure 5 lakh metric ton of wheat from the state. The procurement will begin on April 1st. The centre has fixed the minimum selling price for wheat at Rs. 1,735 per quintal. Paralympics player Sanjeev Kumar from Telupura village has made it to the BWF Uganda Para Badminton International Tournament. Kumar was able to participate in the tournament after Sandeep Jhakar, grandson of former Lok Sabha speaker Balram Jhakar, raised funds for him along with former batchmates. Amritsar-born actress Richa Chadda has said that a feminism wave will arrive in Bollywood when better roles will be written for women. She claims that actresses are speaking up in Bollywood, which is a good thing. Chadda was last seen in the film Fukre Returns. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Canada follows. Scans Accounting. A team of highly professional accountants. We deliver quality and immeasurable assistance Scans to our clients. Accounting. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are India has slammed PM Justin Trudeau's apparent defense on one of his officials who alleged that his visit to India was sabotaged by faction of the Indian government. The Indian Foreign Ministry has denied any role over the presence of pro-Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal at official events. Alberta province has allowed turban-wearing Sikhs to ride motorcycles without a helmet from April 12th. It has the third largest population of Sikhs after British Columbia and Ontario. British Columbia and Manitoba already allow Sikhs this privilege. PM Justin Trudeau's popularity has taken a dip in Canada since his controversial visit to India last month. According to Ottawa-based polling agency Abacus Data, Trudeau's fame dropped following the presence of former Khalistani separatists at official events in India which kicked up a storm in Canadian Parliament. Opposition parties have demanded the Federal Ethic Commissioner to investigate whether Liberal MP Raj Greval broke parliamentary rule. Greval helped his business associate hobnob with high-ranking officials during the Prime Minister's trip to India last month. Defence lawyers have warned against the Liberal government proposals to changes in the criminal justice system. 
The Bill C-75 introduced in the Parliament will prevent lawyers to remove a potential juror using peremptory challenges. The lawyer said that the changes would make juries less diverse. Canadian tech company Aggregate IQ has played a role in the super PAC launched by US President Donald Trump's National Security Advisor John Bolton. Proof showed that the company discussing a presentation to Bolton about their social media software. Bolton has considered to run for president at that time. Three of the four Russian intelligence operatives expelled from Canada were conducting cyber activities aimed at discrediting the World Anti-Doping Agency. Russian spies targeted the Montreal-based WADA after the International Olympics Committee barred Russia from the 2018 Winter Olympics. PM Justin Trudeau has touted his government's commitment to transparency and its tough stance on the wealthy. Trudeau has claimed that the first thing his government did after getting elected is raise taxes on the wealthiest 1% and lower them for the middle class. A Calgary murder suspect has died in a gunfire at the west of Edmonton in which an RCPM officer was shot. Calgary police has been looking for 21-year-old Betahar after the body of a woman was found in the city's northeast. Researchers have uncovered 13,000-year-old footprints belonging to two adults and a child in Canada's British Columbia. This finding is particularly impactful because archaeological evidence of humans in the area during that time period is lacking. This is the end of News Bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resource section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Welcome to the Field Fresh Supermarket. One-stop shop for fresh vegetables, fruits, bakery products, Indian and Chinese grocery and much more. Visit us today at 5661 Steels Avenue East in Scarborough, major intersection Steels and Middlefield. Check out our weekly flyers. Field Fresh Supermarket. Always fresh. After confirming actor Bobby Dewell as part of the star cast in Household 4, the filmmakers have confirmed Kriti Sanon to be one of the leading ladies. Now, Kriti Sanon, speaking about working with the team of Houseful, said, It's a huge franchise anyways and uh, I love comedies. I think, I think it's very difficult to make people laugh. And um, I love being part of comedies also because you are laughing at others and you are also laughing at yourself. So yeah, I am very excited to start that film. And yes, it's my second with uh, Sajid sir. So that I'm very excited. It's almost like coming back home uh, to my home production. So, yeah. Kriti Sanon will also be seen sharing screen space with actor-singer Diljeet Dosanjh in the movie Arjun Patiala Larger Than Life, where she plays a crime journalist in the movie. This will be the first time Diljeet and Kriti will be working together. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, live-in caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. Actors Tiger Shroff and Disha Patni star Bhagi 2 finally made it to the theatres today. But prior to that, a special screening was held where celebrities flocked to watch the actioner. Celebrities seen at the screening included Aisha Shroff, Gulshan Grover, Vivek Oberoi, Ahmed Khan with wife Shaira, Subhash Khai, Sajid Nadia Dwala, Akshay Kumar and Sajid Khan, Tiger Shroff, Jackie Shroff and Krishna Shroff, Sunil Shetty with wife Mana Shetty, Chunky Pandey and daughter Ananya Pandey, Huma Qureshi, Disha Patni, Priti Sanan with sister Nupur Sanan, among many others. Let's see how they reviewed the movie. Priti Sanan? We debut debuted somewhere there's a soft corner, there's a special corner, uh, which will always be like that. And I'm really proud of him because he's just going next level with every film. Huma Qureshi? Well, I think Tiger really is so inspiring. I mean, the way his dedication is, whether it's dancing, whether it's action, 
वो बहुत ही ज्यादा अमेजिंग है सो आई थिंक ही रियली इज लाइक द परफेक्ट यू नो एक्शन हीरो दैट वी हैव विवेक ओबेरॉय बागी वन बहुत बड़ी ब्लॉकबस्टर रही और जिस तरह से साजिद भाई ने इसे प्रेजेंट किया है जिस तरह से फिल्म इस स्केल पे बनी है अहमद बहुत पुराने दोस्त हैं मेरे एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी फॉर एमू क्योंकि आई हैव ऑलवेज फेल्ट ही इज सो टैलेंटेड और आज फाइनली साजिद भाई ने उन्हें एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म दिया है बागी टू में अपने टैलेंट को प्रूव करने का आई थिंक ही इज़ गोन बी अमेजिंग एज अ डायरेक्टर एंड टाइगर तो इज फैबुलस आई थिंक इज ग्रोइंग इन सुपर स्टारडम and i'm so happy for him because he's one of the nicest and humblest children uh, in the industry chunky pande main samajhta hu hindustan mein nahi world mein number 1 ho gaya tiger with action aur main bahut hi proud hu the way he's doing uh usme ek x factor hai uh, jo ek x factor aisi baat hoti hai jo aapko nazar nahi aati aam logon mein to tiger has got that aur uh, main really wait kar raha hu us picture ko dekhne ke liye well celebrities are loving the new action hero let's wait for the public reactions करोल बाग ज्वेलर गहनिया के लेटेस्ट डिजाइन ले पहली चॉइस सोने अते हीरे दे सेट चूड़ियां अते कड़े चेन जड़ाऊ सेट अते होर भी कई गहनिया ते स्पेशल डिस्काउंट सब तो बड़ी चॉइस बेहतरीन सर्विस अते सब तो वाजिब रेट ले आओ करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स अते रूप ज्वेलर्स करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स 1098 पीटर रॉबर्टसन बुलेवार्ड ब्रैम्पटन रूप ज्वेलर्स 503 रे लॉसन बुलेवार्ड ब्रैम्पटन